Hey guys, how's it going? My name is RGJ Runner and welcome to Five Nights in Freddy's Tree. I've never really played Five Nights at Freddy's, the, the full game. I've never played the first one or the second one, except um, the demo of the first one. I only did the first one or two nights, but uh, it didn't really click with me. I wasn't really that interested in, in the series, but there's so much hype over the third game, I thought, hmm, I don't know. M might be good, M might be somewhat good. Anyway, let's get into it. We'll start a new game. Frasbear's Fright, the horror attraction. Local amusement park is getting ready to scare your socks off with a new attraction based on the unsolved mystery of Freddy's Frasbear's Pizza, featuring actual relics from the old decade of the decade old pizza joint, whatever the hell it said. Good, starting off with a call, as per usual. Hey, hey, glad you came back for another night. I promise oh, hey, bro. it'll be a lot more interesting this time. We found some, some great new relics over the weekend, and we're out tracking down a new lead right now. So, uh, let me just update you real quick, then you can get to work. Like, the attraction opens in like a week, so we have to make sure everything works and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in the opposite end of the building and work their way toward you and past you and out the exit. Ooh, fan uh, from the first yeah, game. you've officially hmm. become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring I don't, as don't think I saw that the second game at all. So, like, so not only will you be well, monitoring I didn't see it in the videos the of the second game. Through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes <laughs> out in the corner, cool. but you'll also be a part of the <laughs> show. It'll make it feel really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. Found another set of drawings, always nice, and a foxy head, which we think could be authentic. Then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. And we found a desk fan, very old school, metal though. So watch the fingers. Uh, uh, right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. But I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, if we don't have something really cool by next week, then we may have to suit you up in a furry suit. And make you walk around saying, boo. <laughs> uh, but you know, like I said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings says it was like an extra room that got boarded up or uh, something like that. So we're going to take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, for now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, you can check the security cameras over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the mint cams. Uh, then over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any systems that may go offline. <laughs> uh, in trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone Hi. it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. Yeah, I wasn't joking about the fire. That, that, that's a real risk. Uh, the most important thing you want to watch for is the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spooks, man. And if you let that ventilation go off live, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Keep that air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. Okay, well that was quite a long introduction. And we're already at 4 a.m., just another two hours to go. Oh boy. And one thing I'm noticing now, a major difference between the first and second games. There's no power meter, so I'm assuming we have infinite power and that's not going to go out. Uh, I think that kind of takes away from the survival aspect of, of the game. I'm not sure, maybe they've... But no, maybe Scott, the creator of, of the game, has uh, no, introduced something to replace it to make it a bit more scary than the first and second ones. Because uh, after the first few scares, the, fir the first few uh, mon uh, animatronics jumping out at you, you kind of get used to it. It doesn't become that scary anymore. You know what to expect. And I see that there's also two layers to the layout now, which is, which is cool. You can check the vents. And yeah, to see the vent double click. Okay, that, that's also a new feature. That's cool. That's cool. And I'm assuming, I'm assuming that when you play the audio, it's a distraction. Yes. Okay, I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest at this game. No doubt about it. Ooh. That was 
against this now. Follow me, sure, why not? Follow the purple, evil, Freddy looking thing. In all its Atari 2600 graphic layout gloriness. Did that even make sense? Err. What do you mean, err? Huh? Okay. Oh, son of a bitch! Okay, well, let's do this. Kind of like what, what Scott's done with the Atari sound effects as well. Okay, night two. So far, so good. Hey, man, okay. I have some awesome Yeah, hey, bro, how's it going? First of all, we found some vintage audio training cassettes. Dude, these are, like, prehistoric. I think they were, like, training tapes for, like, other employees or something like that. So, I thought we could, like, have them playing, like, over the speakers as people walk through the attraction. Oh, shit. Ventilation or crap, 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 crap. Legit, man. But I have an even better um. surprise for you. <laughs> You're not gonna believe this. We found one. A real one. Uh, oh, uh, gotta go, man. Uh, well, well look, it, it's in there somewhere. I'm, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you with some of this great audio that I found. Talk to you later, man. Oh, come on, not the other guy. Not the... Hello? Hello, hello! Uh, welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Oh uh, god, I hate this guy's voice. He's so freaking annoying. information on how to handle slash climb into users? slash climb out of mascot costumes. Right now, we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic oh, and suits. Again. So please pay close attention while learning how to operate these suits as accidents slash injuries slash death <sighs> Slash irreparable and grotesque maiming can occur. First, we will discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics are set to turn and walk towards sound cues. This is an easy and hands free approach to making sure the animatronics stay where the children are Hello? for maximum entertainment slash crowd pleasing value. To change the animatronics to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic parts around the sides of the suit, providing room to climb inside. Please make sure the spring locks are fast and tight to ensure the animatronic devices remain fixed. We will cover this in more detail in tomorrow's session. Remember to smile, you are the face of Freddy Fazbear's people. Oh, Jesus Christ, the proper Freddy over there. It scares the shit out of me each time I turn. That's another thing, I mean, you have to um, turn right in order to see the map, unlike the last game, unless, unlike the last previous two games, where the menus were both down here all the time, so I suppose it makes for more challenging gameplay, which is good. Oh shit, ventilation error, shit, 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 shit. Need to fix that shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm fixing it, I'm fixing it. Calm your tits, man. Freddy ain't gonna get me to smart from. I'm gonna play the old strategic game. Oh shit, what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus! Bitch. Oh god. Come on, come on. Oh boy. Okay, no sound of Freddy yet, I think. <laughs> that thing that popped up in front of me was Balloon Boy from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Okay. Sort of, sort of trying to keep it the old style of the game. That's good, that's good. I... Oh shit, shit. Ventilation error. Crap. Why is it always the vent? Can't it just be an audio error or something like that? Oh, f f fucking Jesus! Hey, hi. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh no, 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 no,
No, no, no, no, no, no, no. Oh shit, oh shit. I think that sound means ventilation error. Okay, Freddy, where the fuck are you? You be playing games with me. Hello. Okay. Hello. Come on, come on. I think we should be good. We should be good. Okay, um. Main thing is just keep calm. Okay, just need to stay calm and collected. I'd really love to know where he went because he was there, then he just walked off around here for some reason. Okay, everything's okay. Jesus H. Yeah. I saw you, buddy. I fucking saw you. Don't be playing your mind games with me. <laughs> freaking, freaking saw you poking your head around here. I don't think I'm stupid. Oh god. Oh no 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 no. You, you, you freaking say her, man. Oh. Whew. Oh, man. Holy crap. I am just hazardly lucky. Yeah, that's what I'm hazardly lucky. Jesus Christ, man. I thought I was freaking dead. Ready to be playing games again up to his old tricks or anything to scare the shit out of people as per usual. That's his freaking job, I guess. Uh oh. I think I'm going to have a similar fate to uh, old Freddy there. <sighs> okay, let's go, buddy. Yeah, typical error. Oh, that could have come after me this time. Yeah, freaking thought so. Oh no, you are. <sighs> okay, the third night. Let's see how I get on. I mean, most people just record the first and second night, but I'm just going to record. I'm going to record the first, second, and third. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, for today's lesson, we will be continuing our training on proper sleep handling techniques. When using an animatronic as it is, please ensure that the animatronic parts are tightly compressed and fastened by the spring locks located around the inside of the suit. It may take a few moments to position your head and torso between these parts in a manner where you can move yeah, and yeah. see. Try not to nudge or press against any of the spring locks inside the suit. Hello? Do not touch the spring locks at any time. Do not breathe on the spring locks, as moisture may loosen them and cause them to break loose. In the case that the spring locks come loose while you are wearing a suit, please try to maneuver away from populated areas before bleeding out, as to not ruin the customer experience. As always, if there is ever an emergency, please go to the designated safe room. Every location is built with one extra room that is not included in the digital map layout program animatronic or security suit. This room is hidden oh, to customers in the vent. invisible to animatronics and is always off camera. As always, remember to smile with a face of great bad bear teeth. Oh, I see you sneaking there, you son of a bitch. No, 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 no. You do not come near me. No, Hello. that's not how we play this game. Okay, ventilation error, gotta fix that shit. Go on, go on, go on, go on. <gasps> Squeaky, squeaky. Maybe if I, turn, if I turn my head quickly, he'll disappear. No, 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 no. Maybe the, maybe it sorts itself out. 
Oh no, I'm stuck to it, man! Shit! Oh, oh my god. Yeah, so... So I'm guessing when he shows up knocking at the door, well... There's no de door there, but when he pops his head around the corner, you're screwed either way. There's no way out of that. He's in the frickin' vent. Go over your hurry up, you son of a bitch. Oh god damn it! <sighs> Fuck it, one more time. Okay, last time. I'm assuming rebooting all of them at the same time is a much longer process than just rebooting them one at a time. Okay, fine. Lesson learned. Hello. Hello. <sighs> okay, okay. So instead he wins a race. Freddy, where are you? Don't be uh, playing your creepy games on me now. Hello. Okay, everything's all right in that sector. Ah, there you are, Freddy. You mind staying over there? And he's gone. Okay, camera error. Oh my god, there's nothing worse than the camera error. Okay, come on. That's really something. Oh my god, he's in the vent again. Ooh. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh yeah, I hear Freddy as well. He's going to be there once, once I put this damn thing down. Okay, maybe not. Sealed. Ready to be okay. Okay, uh, everything's good in the hood over here. Okay, it's 3 a.m. I'm I'm doing all right for myself. I, I'm a, I'm a okay. Everything's just hunky dory. Hunky dory diddly do. Hello. Uh oh. Got to fix the audio errors. No one likes crispy, raspy audio. Hi. Oh, the vents again? What is it with you and the vents? <laughs> oh shit! Oh come on, bullshit! That was freaking bullshit, man. He wasn't even at the door. <sighs> well, that was Five Nights at Freddy's Tree. Not sure if I'm going to keep this up as a series or not. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, so far, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Having infinite e energy is a plus. You know, it makes games slightly less challenging, but overall more enjoyable. And. To, to replace this, to, to replace energy, he, he's obviously put, put in new features such as like the whole ventilation thing, losing oxygen, and generally going insane. 
Anyway, guys, you know what to do. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. So until then, see ya.